Hello and welcome to your Phillipsburg news break. In sports, Greenwich, a township that already boasts impressive sports offerings like ice hockey and lacrosse, is considering adding racquetball to its growing list of sports competitions. Said one member of the athletic club, we're really excited about the possibility of adding such an intense sport where our athletes can play balls to the wall the whole game. On the subject of walls, a chant seems to break out at many political rallies these days that goes a little like this. Build the wall! Build the wall! Build the wall! And Phillipsburg government has taken that to heart, continuing construction on the wall between Lopatcong and Phillipsburg. In the past few weeks in Peaburg, spotted lanternflies have been spotted all over. Obviously. If you spot a lanternfly, you might be a tattoo artist. The proper procedure when seeing a lanternfly is to take a shoot first and ask questions later stance. Like so. Die, lanternfly! Die, lanternfly! Die! 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 Oh. <sighs> Who's the ninth president of the United States of America? Yeah, you don't know because you're dead just like William Henry Harrison. And then report it to the New Jersey Lanternfly Hotline. Hello, Spotted Lanternfly Hotline, what do you want? I just killed your mom. What? The Phillipsburg Pool, located at Walters Park, is closed today. We don't know what day you're watching this, but we're pretty sure we're right. Walter's Park Pool, what do you want? Is the pool open today? No. I didn't think so. Why not? We ain't got no lifeguards. Why not? We just hate people, okay? There it is. I just killed your mom. What? In a recent town council meeting, council members promised a young girl that they would do something about the odor that's wafting through Phillipsburg. The stench has gotten so bad that many residents have had to run inside and snort air fresheners. Reporting live from the affected area, here's meteorologist Mikey Mikes. Mikey? Ugh, I can't breathe. It smells like a dead rat just crawling to a skunk's leaky butt, and it died. And then a straight dog dragged them into an overflowing porta potty, and then he threw them up, and then he died. And then someone came and picked up the pugu and put it in a 32 and a half gallon garbage can filled with rotting fish guts. Uh, and then the garbage man didn't pick it up for a month, and then I exploded it all over town! <laughs> Thank you for your vivid reporting, Mikey Mikes. Have you ever noticed that some logos have hidden meanings? Take the FedEx logo, for example. It has a hidden arrow to say they're going places. And the Baskin Robbins logo has a hidden 31 touting their 31 famous ice cream flavors. And the Phillipsburg Mall unabashedly proclaims that it is a one-star mall, right in the logo. How about that? And that's your Phillipsburg News Break. I'm your anchor, Willie Everstop. Good night. Oh, I can still taste it. <coughs> It smells like someone just loaded all the dirty diapers in the world into a cargo jet and then made it all go down on Phillipsburg, all on the rooftops, and then they exploded onto all the buildings. <gasps> and then they died. And then an overflowing dog pointed upon John. No. <laughs> That's not right at all. Slow down overflowing pointy potty John. <laughs> Oh! How many looks does it take to get the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? How do they make unsweetened iced tea? Do they like put the sweetness in it and then take it out? Or is it just like regular tea with no sweetness in it? Yeah, you don't know, you bloated ladybug. Why do we have to save the bees? So we can win at Scrabble? Yeah, you'll never win at Scrabble now because you're dead. Stupid dead.